This is David McQuillan. I'm a senior technical specialist on the reality capture team here at ATG USA. Here to show you a tech tip on using a software called Recap Photo. Recap Photo is an Autodesk photogrammetry processing software. It's a great solution for those who use Autodesk products and who have cloud credits. In this video, I want to show you and explain the data outputs from Recap Photo photogrammetry processing. Let's get started. Here we are in Recap Photo. If you've watched previous videos, you would have uploaded your photos. Those would have been processed on the cloud. And then after a couple hours, we would have something here in my cloud drive. And what we would do is select this down arrow button for download, select where we would want to place it. And then it would look something like this recap photo outputs. And in here we would have the outputs that we selected previously. Most likely you had selected a TIFF, an RCS, the report, and an RCM. And today I'm gonna to show you what those look like and explain a little bit about what they are. So let's start with the TIFF. So what this is, is an orthomosaic image in a TIFF format. And the ortho image is an amalgamation of all the individual photos from your drone flight. Quality and detail of your ortho photo is greatly dependent on your drone flight, which is one of the reasons why flight planning is very important. I'm gonna zoom in here and you can see quality of the ortho photo. Quite a lot of detail. Next, I'll show you the point cloud. Now the point cloud is an RCS format and we're gonna open it up using an RCP or a Recap Pro file. So this is what a point cloud looks like. And a point cloud is made up of millions of individual points and each point is representative of the ground sampling distance or the GSD of your data. I'll zoom in here and you can see that although this data set is very dense, if we continue to zoom in and zoom in, we're starting to see the separation in between the points. That's a point cloud. Let's move on to the mesh. Now the mesh is gonna be in an RCM format. We're actually gonna open that back up in Recap Photo. Now what a mesh is, is a surface model where the software tries to connect all the points that we previously saw in the point cloud in order to make a continuous surface. I'll zoom in and show you some of that. As we zoom in, we see that there's no spacing between the points. Well, and the uh, fourth and last thing I'm gonna cover here is the report. So I'm just gonna highlight a couple things in here. First is the ground sampling distance, as I just discussed before. So for this data set, it's about 2.74 centimeters, so pretty good. The area covered was over 100,000 square meters. Our target coordinate system was Montana State Plane 83 international feet. And out of 344 images, we used 344. We know that because they've been calibrated. Let's jump over here to image overlap so we can see what sort of overlap we were dealing with on the outside of our data set. If you have problems with your data set, it could be related to image overlap. So this is a good place to detect if there was any photos that were not used uh, for various reasons. 
And lastly, I'll cover here is the ground control points. Uh, so we're just going to be quickly take a look at the numbers or the names of the, the targets that we used, the coordinates of, their, um, of each of the targets, and then the estimated amount of error that was involved with each one of them. So this has been how to review the data outputs from Recap Photo. Thank you for joining and stay tuned for more.